Hey, it's Lee here from Old Nintendo Gamer and Son, bringing you the biggest and best Nintendo news on July the 15th, 2020. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and leave us a comment in the section below. Ninjala is having a celebration for surpassing 3 million downloads, and that's done before even a month has passed since its release. And if you sign into Ninjala before August the 26th, you'll receive 100 Jala for free in celebration of that fact. Yesterday we broke the news of Nintendo's Switch's firmware update to 10.1.0, but it seems that you can now also update your controllers, that is your Joy-Cons. Just head over to the System Settings, go down to Controllers and Settings tab, then simply select Update Controllers. The Nintendo Switch Parental Controls app has also received an update to version 1.13.0, available both for Android and iOS devices right now, but only implements mere small bug fixes. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's newest tournament starts on July the 17th, lasts for a total of three days, and you'll only be able to use characters that are pilots, including Captain Falcon, Zero Suit Samus, Olimar, and Fox. Capcom's action RPG Dragon's Dogma is getting a new Netflix anime series. The show will be released on September the 17th, and the official synopsis goes like this. Ethan sets out to vanquish the dragon that took his heart, but with every demon he battles, the more he loses his humanity. Follow Ethan along with his pawn, Hannah, in his journey to reclaim his heart. Power Rangers Battle for the Grid Season 3 DLC character Robert RJ James is out right now on the Switch. It was expected at the end of June, but we've had a little wait since then. There's a new update going live for Killer Queen Black on Switch today, entitled the Beetlejuice Update. It adds a new map, the Nesting Flats, which separates the weapon and power up gates and encourages soldiers to cause trouble for the Queen. It also boasts a short snail track to pick up a quick snail victory, but the update also features improvements to party systems and gameplay. Joker and Hero Amiibo now have a final release date. In Japan, they'll be releasing on September the 25th. In North America, on October the 2nd. Europe doesn't have a finalized date yet, but it won't be far behind the American date. <laughs> Lastly today, I'll leave you with a new full announcement video for the LEGO Nintendo Entertainment System. It is scheduled to launch on August the 1st from LEGO retail stores and LEGO.com you'll be able to purchase the LEGO Nintendo Entertainment System from other big retailers in 2021. This set is a mechanically functional version of an all-time favourite console with LEGO bricks. It features a controller with a connecting cable and plug, an opening slot for the game pack with a locking feature, and a buildable retro TV. The LEGO Super Mario can also be scanned so that the character reacts to on-screen enemies, obstacles, and power-ups just as he would have in the iconic Super Mario Bros. game. In the UK, this will be sitting at a pretty £209.99. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook, and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers. Just follow the links below.